kids with a fixed mindset think that um, intelligence or the various skills that they have are just something that are born in them. Kids with a growth mindset think that with hard work they can develop these skills. Uh, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset has a lot to do with how kids think about failure. Uh, that if they have the fixed mindset and they fail, whether they think they're you know lousy at something or whether they think they're gifted and brilliant, it makes it much harder for them to try again because they see that failure as a sign of something you know deeply wrong with them that I'm, maybe I'm not so gifted. Uh, but when kids with a growth mindset um, fail at something, they just think, oh, I didn't work hard enough, so I can work harder and I can do better. And that's the importance of failure. Talk a little bit about the importance of failure, and then let's mm -hmm. go to these two different environments. Sure. So uh, it was Dominic Randolph who um, really started talking to me about failure and convincing me that failure was, was what was missing in, uh, for a lot of the students in his school environment. Uh, and I think that it continues to be um, a concern much more in the uh, high income schools that I've uh, reported in more than the low income schools. I think when kids are growing up, you know, I did a lot of my reporting on the south side of Chicago in, in real high poverty neighborhoods. And I don't think the problem for those kids is not enough Failure, not enough adversity but in their why lives. Why is failure important? Well, first off, I think there's a acad academic world has become really focused on getting things right a lot. The grading systems reinforce this idea that everyone needs to get an A. Everyone needs to get it right all the time. And I think that's just nonsense. I mean, that's totally not true. When you sort of talk to kids and you hear them say, you know, like they're so completely destroyed by not getting a good grade on something. And, you know, really the sort of sign of someone is, well, what are you going to do now? Okay, you didn't do well. You got a C on this math test. So now what are you going to do? Dave, the importance of failure. Seligman's work around learned optimism, mm -hmm. particularly around sort of the three Ps of personalization, permanence, and pervasiveness, and how our explanatory style around those things. And... That's where failure becomes personal, I'm always a failure, pervasive, everything, you know, I, there's nothing I can do across all domains, and permanent, I'm always going to be this way. So part of your and, job is to make sure kids don't get into that right, narrative. And that's true job. across socioeconomic yeah. background. The number of times a great teacher has to tell a kid they're making a mistake is what makes them a great teacher. But in that moment, the great teacher makes sure that the kid's explanatory style is not permanent, pervasive, and personal. And that's all growth mindset. And so failure is the key to growth mindset. And that's why. Hi, I'm John Merrow. I hope you'll join me this season at the JCC as we continue to explore the issues that matter greatly to children, their families, and their teachers.